Basque identity it is quite a complex phenomenon due to asymmetric identity profiles and also due to different conceptualizations of self-perception. In Euskadi, the predominant self-perception is Basque. People identify as Basques. On the other hand, looking at voting behavior, then they vote for Basque nationalist parties as well as Spanish statewide parties. And in voting, it is about 50-50. It's depending also upon whether they vote for regional elections, then they have a majority vote for the nationalist parties or for the national Spanish elections. And finally, if we look at linguistic practice in the Basque autonomous community, then most of the people, by far a majority, of about 75%, they speak Spanish at home. Well, let me now look at the identity profile of Navarre. In Navarre, Basque is minoritarian as a language. Only 10% of the Navarrese Basques, they speak Basque at home. They identify mostly as Navarrese, as regional Navarrese, and as Basque. So they show a kind of hybridity, which is also the case in the French Basque country. In the French Basque country, there is a strong a hybrid self-perception. It's about 50-50 of the people who identify as French as well as Basques, all to a certain degree. On the other hand, French Basques, they vote for French statewide parties. And that's not only the case for national parliamentary elections, but also for the elections at the very local levels, like the Canton elections for the so-called département. Finally, the French Basques, they have the most important share of Basque speaking among their population. So they are mostly Basque speaking, French voting, and hybrid in their self-perception. Those profiles, those identity profiles, so they are just very different by regions. Talking about self-perception, then there is also a very strange phenomenon. It depends on who is considered to be a Basque, uh, on where you are and who you are. If you are, for instance, a Basque-speaking person living in a Basque-speaking environment, then language is the most important criterion to be considered as a Basque. On the other hand, if you are a non-Basque-speaking person, you are living in an environment with mostly Spanish or French-speaking Basques, then living or being born, that's the most important criterion, being born in a Basque country, that's the most important criterion to be considered as a Basque. The roots of the independence movements go all back to Sabino de Arana y Goyri, who was the founder of the Basque Nationalist Party, the Partido Nacionalista Vasco, at the end of the 19th century. Sabino Arana had different views about independence during his lifetime. Sometimes he was in favor of a total independence of Biscay without uh, demarcating very clearly its territory and sometimes at a later period in his life he was in favor of autonomy. If we review present-day independence politics in the Basque country then there is an enormous discrepancy between political rhetoric on the one hand and political practice on the other. All political parties that are Basque nationalist parties they claim a greater Basque country. They call that Euskalaria. So they agree about the final aim that will be independency of Euskalaria. However, 
pragmatism in daily politics shows that many, many differences between the political parties. I will just highlight the most important differences and I will start off with the bigger parties and movements in the Basque realm. In Egoalde, the most important parties are first the historical party, the Partido Nacionalista Vasco, and secondly, it's split off Ausko Alcatazuna. What they claim in practice, in political practice, is a kind of co sovereignty of the Basque autonomous community with Spain. A kind of conceptualization, uh, they claim of Spain, a kind of restructuring of Spain into a sort of loose confederation. However, the PNV, the Partido Nacionalista Vasco, is more rooted, uh, historically rooted, in regional privileges of smaller units, the so-called fueros, while the Eusko Arcatasuna is more rooted in social democratic values. Those two parties, PNV and EA, they are democratic ones and they are relatively moderate. Now going to the more radical movement, then political parties have been known under several names because they have been respectively banned and later on they were renewed and established under other names. So the most well-known name is Eri Batasuna or Batasuna, both banned. Uh, there has been also a, a small era in which the name was Euskal Eitarok and occupies a similar position as Sinn Féin in Northern Ireland. Movement for national liberation is a kind of self-dominated name for all the radical groups that claim Euskal Herria. And they show an, an, a significant overlap with the so-called Izquierda Abertzale, the patriotic left. Batasuna, Eri Batasuna and all those sister organizations, they generally condone violence and they claim Euskal Herria. However, this should also be qualified, because during the conversations in 2006 with the Zapatero administration, they gave the impression to see the unification with Navarre as a first step to independence. After the 1998-1999 self-declared ceasefire of ITA, there has been a split off from the radical movement and a small party with relatively few seats in the regional parliament of the Basque Autonomous Community has been created, that has been created under the name of Alalar. Alalar, it's also the name of a mountain range in between the Basque Autonomous Com Community and Navarre. Alalar, in contrast to Patasuna, is violence rejecting. And finally, in the north, in Iparralde, there is one party which is uh, important, one nationalist party, that is Abertalian Batasuna. Translated, this means patriotic unity which occupies a similar position as Aralar. They claim, in, in fact, uh, at a rhetorical level, Euskal Herria as their unit, but in practical politics they claim a separate Basque département, a separate regional unit, because now the Basque country forms part of this wider unit of the Pyrénées Atlantique, of which it occupies about half the territory. Let me finally tell you something about the regional support base. First, the PNV, the Partido Nacionalista Vasco, dominates uh, the historical territory in the northwest of the autonomous community of the Basque Country, that is Biscay, of which Bilbao is the, the capital. And most support for independency, for ride-out independency, can be found in Gipuzkoa, which is also on the coast in the autonomous community of the Basque Country, capital San Sebastian, or in, in Basque Donostia. And finally, the support base for nationalism and for independence is relatively weak in the south of the autonomous community of the Basque Country, in Navarre and in the north, in Iparralde.